Hey guys, it's Robin, and today I have something really fun to play with. It is Charm Minis, and I want to say thanks so much to Rose Art for sending this to me. So Charm Minis are these cute little charms that you can decorate and create your own um, jewelry. You can make necklaces, bracelets, all kinds of accessories. And it even comes with this little tree here where you can hang things from. So that is super fun. Um, when I was a kid, we had these really cool like 80s style well, it was the 80s, um, charm necklaces. And this reminds me of that. But these are ones you can make yourself, which is really cool. And there's all kinds of cool things. Different desserts. Oh, yummy. That's awesome. Um, and those charm making abilities. So cool. So I am going to get this stuff out of the box. And I'm going to attempt to make some charm minis. Hey, guys. So I put together my little charm minis tree, which is really cute. And would make a really nice jewelry stand even, too. But it has little spots where you can hang all the charms we're going to create. This set comes with all these little pieces that you can use to create charms. And um, let's see, there's yellow, blue, green, and white. It also comes with some connectors that you're going to use for the charms. And some cords to help you create things like bracelets or necklaces. And fasteners to help put that all together. It also comes with some glitter, which this thing here I'm going to show you how to use in a little bit is the glitterizer um, a little bottle that you're going to fill with water because all you need is water to stick these charms together and it also comes with some glaze so that you can put the finishing touch on your charms okay for my first attempt here I'm going to try to make some pie so here is the little pie piece these are so tiny you guys a little piece of pie and then I'm just going to wet that with some of this water in this little bottle here. I'm trying to get to focus. I don't know how much water to use. No. Ah. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to also wet the back of the pie to see if that will help. Um, okay, so that's the first layer. And then I'm going to put some more water on top of this and on the back of the piece. Ah, it's sticking to me. <laughs> and then I'm going to put on my top layer. Add some water to this piece here. Ah. So there we go. Oh my gosh, it looks really cute. It's definitely sticky. I don't know how well it will hold, but we will see. I also want to add some decorations to it, so I'm going to add a little more water to the top and to this little dollop of whipped cream because it is so cute. I don't know which side is up. Oh, it has been dent on both sides. Um, let's see. Put that on the top there. Ah, sticking to me, not the pie. <laughs> And then I also have this teeny tiny little cherry to put on top. How cute is that? <laughs> oh my goodness, this is not that easy. If you're clumsy like I am. Uh-oh, stick, stick, stick. Probably would have been better to stick these two pieces together first and then try to put them on the pie. Let's try that. Okay, so that appears to be working. Oh my gosh, it's so tiny and cute. Okay, then I'm going to stick one of these little charm pieces on the back. The rings have a flat side, which is what you'll use to adhere it. Oh, oh, I did it. I did it. Yay. Okay, so you're supposed to let it dry on the tree, but I'm kind of afraid to. So I'm going to let it sit here for a minute. I don't want it to fall apart on me. Here's another little piece of pie that I put together before I hit record because I forgot to hit film. So this one's also really cute. I think it's really neat that it just takes water. Like you don't need any glue or anything. That's really cool. Um, it does appear to be sticking. I'm just not very good at this yet. All right, we got it. <laughs> I'm sorry this is a little blurry because they are so tiny. It's hard to focus on them. Let's see, what else can we make? How about a lollipop? We can make an ice cream sundae. Oh, an ice cream sundae would be fun. There's all kinds of flavors of ice cream here. So I've got a little ice cream bowl. That is really cute. Add some water to the top of that. 
And I'm going to add water to my first scoop, which I think is going to be this white one. Vanilla flavor. Okay, I got that to stick. But I'm going to stick the two next two ice cream scoops together first. See if that will help. I'm adding some water to this. These two pieces so I can add some chocolate and strawberry. And I'm just going to hold these together for a little bit. Let them kind of get acquainted. They seem to be stacking up pretty nicely though. And of course because this is my house there's dog hair stuck on this ice cream cone already. Let's put some water on the top here. And on the bottom. It might be easy just to set up a little bowl where you can kind of dip the pieces in water. That might create too much of a gluey mess. I don't know. It might be an idea though to try. Oh, and there's glitter on this blanket too. Okay, so there we go. Three scoops. Ah, it's falling. <laughs> Definitely need patience for these because they do take a little bit of a while to kind of like form that bond. Maybe I'm not using enough water. I don't know which it is, but patience is a good thing. And toys that encourage patience, I'm all for them. Ah! It's falling again. I want to put this whipped cream on top, but I'm afraid to. <laughs> okay, I'm going to attempt to put some whipped cream on top of my cone. I already just knocked it over. I'm such a talented crafter, you guys. <laughs> oh, <laughs> five second rule, right? <laughs> oh, my poor ice cream cone. Okay, I think I did it. I held it together for a little bit, so let's see. I'm going to let it dry a little before I attempt to attach the charm holder. This definitely takes a little bit of practice. So this is cute. There's little popsicles and little popsicle sticks, and I don't know how these are supposed to fit together, but I will attempt to see if this works. You probably do not want to be using a furry surface when you make this because the charms will stick to the fur. I'm using a furry tablecloth here. All right, so that kind of fits together. There's a little bit of a um, a, a drip in the, eye, the popsicle. I don't know if you can see that. And it's kind of holding the popsicle stick in place. So let's let that one dry. Okay, let's try an easy flat one maybe. I'm gonna make a little cloud can also make a lollipop. Um, there's ice cream cones. There's these cute little stars to decorate. I think I want to try this cloud next. Because it's cute. And it looks like it will. <laughs> it could potentially work really well. But we don't know. <laughs> I'm going to add a butterfly to my charm. I'm going to wet that. Oh yes, definitely easier. Than, than any of the other ones I tried. So maybe start with the butterfly on the flat surface one. Um, what else could I put on here? How about a little star? That would be cute. Oh no, knocked over my ice cream scoops. It is sticking a little better now though. Although the whipped cream fell off again. I think that is just not going to have whipped cream on it. Okay, and I also am going to add this little star here to my cloud. There we go. I think that looks kind of cute. How about an easy little ice cream cone instead of a triple scoop sundae? I'm just going to decorate. Put some glue on this. Now that's going to ruin it. I just got it on the blanket. <laughs> oh, why am I not just using the table? Here's an ice cream cone. This, the pieces kind of want to stick to me and not to each other. I guess I'm just a very sticky person. Um, and let's make one more. How about we decorate this little star. We've got a key and a heart. There's some cute pieces. Okay, I'm going to start with the star. Okay, you know, I've added some water to the back of these charms as well. Let's try this key and a little heart. And they're sliding all over. <laughs> okay. Well, 
Ooh, I'm feeling a little sticky. It's a little bit sticky, but it's not, I mean, it's not like drying on like glue or anything. That's pretty cool. Okay, guys, it's been about 20 minutes. I'm going to attempt to glaze and glitterize this piece of pie here. Okay, so this just looks like a big gooey glop of stuff. <laughs> the glaze. This probably helps it all stick together too when you're done. Um... I want to be really careful because I don't want my pieces to fall apart. But they seem to be sticking pretty well, which is awesome. They're holding together nicely. At least this one is. Okay, so now I'm going to put it in the glitterizer. Now what I like about this, for glitter control, parents will like this, there's a little drawer where the glitter, the leftover glitter is going to fall, which is kind of awesome. So this opens up. You can put your glazy piece on the little piece there. And then I've already preloaded this with glitter. So hopefully some glitter is falling out as I'm pushing on this button. <laughs> Let's see. Ah, it totally did. Oh, a lot of glitter. Um, so yeah. Oh, that looks so cute. It is super glittery. So yeah, you can see it's super super glittery and as you can see by the size of my hand how teeny tiny this is so now i'm going to need to let this dry some more so that the glitter and glaze will dry but that is really cute i'm really happy with how this turned out so here are my final charminis creations i want to thank so much to rose art for sending this to me let me know what you think of my little charms here. I'll probably glaze and glitter some more of these and maybe make some more. I think they would make really fun little charms for my nieces and then I can use the string that I came with to make like little necklaces or bracelets for them. That would be so cute. I really love how this sparkly pie came out. I think it's so cute. Oh my goodness, it's amazing. Don't eat them though because that wouldn't be good for you, right? Um, I want to say thanks again to Rose Art. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And I'll have some other videos here for you to watch as well. And thanks for being awesome. Bye!